officials of the West African Gas Pipeline Company, WAPCO, are worried about the increasing rate at which encroachers are erecting structures close to the pathway of the gas pipeline. The company says the situation could endanger lives and property should there be an explosion. Thus, the edge encroaches to evacuate or their structures would be demolished. The West African Gas Pipeline Company, WAPCO, owns and operates the West African Gas Pipeline. The company transports natural gas from producers in Nigeria to consumers in Benin, Togo and Ghana. The company's regulatory and metering station near Tema has been encroached upon. Authorities of the company are also concerned about the level of illegal activities carried out by encroachers close to the right of way on the gas pipeline. The right of way on the pipeline is to help protect the pipelines from exposure and negative activities that will destroy the pipes. There has been an increasing level of encroachment close to the gas pipeline by residents oblivious of the dangers posed by the pipelines. According to officials of the company, several education and warnings to encroachers have fallen on deaf ears. These installed signposts and markets on the lines did not stop encroachers as they continued to erect structures, farm, dump refuse or walk about in the vicinity where there are underground pipelines. We hired a, a waste container to clear the rubbish. And as soon as we finish the somebody has erected a structure. There. It's church. That's what we are told. And our concern is that they will be moving here, they'll be crisscrossing the right of way every now and then. We don't know whether sometimes they might be you don't mean to be possibly they be by the driving on the right of way, they might be doing a lot of things on the right of way. And we think that if they do, it will impact negatively on the right of way. And the pipeline itself and the people around here. Stakeholders from the Tema Development Corporation, the Environmental Protection Agency, Tema Metropolitan Assembly, the Ghana National Fire Service and the Tema Traditional Council have met to dialogue on efforts to address the encroachment challenge along the pipelines. Authorities of the company assured stakeholders of the safety of the natural gas pipeline but said activities done close to the lines could endanger lives and properties. The, the dangers are very, very, very practical and they are, they are very, very huge kind of dangers. Um, you know, gas, uh, you cannot see it with your eyes. You can't smell. When you talk about natural gas, you cannot smell it. You cannot see it, but it's there. And we, we are afraid of uh, petroleum products all the time, but then you, know, you can see them. If you know that there's, um, for example, gasoline, regular gasoline is a liquid, and you can see it. So you will not go around a, you know, um, a tank or a bucket of gasoline and light any fires. But for gas, you can't see it, you can't smell it, and people don't know. And the danger is that if you light uh, any kind of fire, or even a spark, and it's close to a gas pipeline. I, I don't even want to talk about the kind of problems that we will have. We are talking about fires that cannot be quenched. When there's a pipeline fire, a gas pipeline fire, the fire service people will not even dare to go there. They will have to stay away because it has to just burn out. The gas has to burn out on its own. You cannot put it off, the fire off with um, just water or anything. Very dangerous. Some residents spoke to GBC24. They say no, almost a gas pipeline where fire home. We have no way to go, but we'll be happy if we will be compensated to enable us to move away from the pipeline for our own safety. The land was leased to us by the traditional council about five years ago. If owners of the pipeline say it's dangerous to live around, we are ready to relocate. WAPCO said they will continue to collaborate, educate and engage community leaders 
on the dangers of the pipelines to make it safer for residents.